Good morning, guys, from a, a wet and windy Kinloch Barva. Just as I've got some time and I'm sitting about the boat, uh, I want to talk about seasickness. Aye. It's amazing what the old motion of the ocean does to you. Uh, some people don't get actually seasick, there is some suffer severely with it. I'm sort of one of these strange people that. I don't suffer from it all the time. It's just sort of in these smooth rolling seas with a big swell is where I'll get my seasickness. Uh, I don't seem to get it when it's rough and all action stations going sort of thing. What about your sails? What, what way do you actually get seasick? If you do get seasick, what triggers your seasickness? Is it the smooth swells or is it the rough stuff? Or is it coming into the cabin just? Uh, people suffer from starts off in a lot of different ways but at the end of the day it's all down to travel sickness, motion sickness. So then what are some of the things that, that they avoid? Before we start taking any sea sickness medication, right? What what can we try? How, how can we try and eliminate this? What what are some of the things that I personally that I think don't help, which I know don't help in fact, right? So what are we going to try and avoid? Obviously, the night before, try and avoid alcohol. Yes, we're in the yachting community and there's a lot of boozing goes on, but listen to me, don't follow the herd. Try and uh, avoid alcohol the night before, and obviously avoid it during a passage. You know what I mean? That's no good, right? So the morning when we're going out, when we're heading sail, you don't want to be going out on an empty stomach, right? But we don't want to be going out with a big belly full of greasy fry in there, right? What I've found for myself is plenty of toast, stuff like that. Some good binding stuff that's going to just hold the guts together in there. Um, chocolate. Chocolate's a nasty one. I would avoid chocolate. Chocolate's a habit of turning bellies. You know, in, in many instances, it'll turn your belly like... But for travel sickness, it's a good one, okay? Avoid it. Uh, coming inside, right, when there's a roll on, when you're inside, your brain can't work out what's going on. The likes of sitting on a mobile phone with your head down, can't work out what's going on, you know, the brain can't, and sitting and reading. So you want to sort of try and stay, you know, looking about, staying sort of half switched on. There's some of the, the wee simple things that I would try and avoid. Right now, if you bear with me, we are going to get to the cure. <laughs> right, what can we actually do when we're out at sea? We've done everything the night before that we can do. We've had our rest. We've avoided the bad food. We've avoided, avoided the alcohol. What can we actually do now we're at sea? Right. Some of the wee things. These are simple wee things, right? What I find really help. Actually, nibbling. Nibbling food. Ginger nut biscuits. Ginger nut biscuits help settle the bella. We can sip on ginger tea. Though it's not everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> Uh, another wee thing that I found that, that was really helpful, see fizzy coke, see, see a can of coke, see actually sipping on, on a tin of coke. I find that that helps settle my stomach and or perhaps I, and the reason being it's because of this uh, phosphoric acid in it and it's part of uh, stuff that's in some other seasick medication to stop you vomiting and stuff. Uh, I only found that out actually out recently, I bought a new coke to sort of help me. <clears throat> and a lot of the old tales always tell you about flat coke, you know, settling the stomach. But I like a nice tin of coke to sip on. Uh, it really, really helps me. Should be ginger nut biscuits, ginger tea, uh, your tin of coke. The coffee I'd be avoiding, I'd be drinking tea on board instead if you're feeling sick, right? Also, 
just sipping fluids, not none of this guzzling stuff to fill your belly up again so you're sitting with a big full belly full of liquid <laughs> because uh, it could go all over the deck very quick. Just sip it stuff. And another wee thing that I find pretty good and I like sucking on, see mints, uh, imperial mints. Um, and really, uh, if you think about it, mints is, it helps settle your stomach as well. So that's why I would uh, suck on the mint syrup from time to time. That's if I'm actually getting seasick, because it's strange, sometimes the way it goes, I just don't get it. So, what else What else can we do when we're out there? Obviously not coming into the cabin. If you're starting to get that seasick feeling, if you can get on the tiller or the wheel, and you're concentrating, and you're looking at the horizon, uh, that's a good help. Now, it, believe you me, a lot of people say that will get rid of your seasickness in two minutes. It, it, no, it won't. It won't. And after a prolonged period of time of being on the tiller and it's those conditions that will make you sick, you'll still feel it. <clears throat> There's times I've been in that tiller and, and real silly seas, big rolling swell, the autopilot hasn't been doing too well in it because it's coming from behind, the sun's out and I'm standing in that tiller. I, I could still get it. I could still get it 100%. But put all those wee things together, There's stuff to avoid the night before and the stuff I'm telling you to do now, uh, sipping tea rather than coffee, your ginger tea, ginger biscuits, mince and coke. I, I honestly swear by the tin of coke. It really it, it gives you help and then you're putting some sugars back into your body as well. Stay nicely hydrated as well. Avoid that coming inside, being on the tiller and stuff. If you're out on the deck just sort of try and keep a keep a look out in the horizon and, and look what's going on. That that will genuinely help you like. So let's come to the cure. What's the cure? Seasickness medication. For me, have I actually found a seasickness medication that actually works? In the past, really, really, actually no, to be quite honest. Now, I've been using sturgeon and sea legs, uh, joyride, all, all those sort of seasickness. And they haven't really helped because I'm still behind it all. I'm still left for that wee lingering sort of tiniest second feeling. It takes a tiny bit off it. But it doesn't take it away. What's the cure? Right, folks, here's what it is. Avamine, 25 milligrams. Absolutely love this stuff, right? Now, I've been sort of seasick about three times this trip. And it's been due to that big rolling swell with no wind. With that sicky feeling and then sort of that wee bit of whoa, like, like dizziness feeling, it's just the way the emotion and you're not working it out, hence why you're getting seasick. And that sleepiness feeling, right? Just lethargic, that would be the word. Right? Once they bang one of these, the Alvamine 25 milligrams, right? See, within a very short time, that sicky feeling went away. That wee bit of the, like dizziness feeling went away. And the lethargic, tired feeling went away. Due to this, people say they cause drowsiness and stuff. I don't know, maybe they do in some people, but I know a lot of people talk these and they haven't felt the drowsiness. And the exact same as me, the sickness has left them, the dizziness feeling and the lethargic tiredness feeling has left them. So, you know, I've listened to a few stories about people talking about seasickness tablets on a post I put on. And to be honest, they're wired to the absolute moon. Some of these people are absolutely wired to the moon. See, and seasickness tablets are risky, they're dangerous, so they come with serious warnings. Listen, get a grip. These are sold over the counter. You can buy them, you get them online. Uh, they come in your offshore, uh, offshore first aid kits. You'll get them in your offshore life rafts. Uh, so remember, they're putting these out here. You can buy them over the counter, and they're like that for a reason. They actually work. And you can buy them over the counter, so there's nothing there's nothing dangerous about these guys. So don't don't let anybody ever put you off about taking seasickness tablets because it's 
It's absolutely bonkers, okay? That's that's the secret, people. Of them, they work 100%, and I absolutely highly recommend them. Whether you want to believe me, because I'm a guy from the street, and a straight talking guy, a lot of people will come on and say, no, he recommended them, they're terrible, and you could get some snobby guy coming from the other boat and telling you these are brilliant, and you'd be more inclined to believe him. That's up to yourself. Uh, that's my secret, that's my tip, and I hope it helps you all. Thanks for listening.